Hey guys, this is Mark Steven Business, back with a knife review for you today. Today, this is going to be a knife review on the uh, Buck Bantam BHW. This is the larger of the three. Actually, there's four, um, which I did not know about when I was buying these. Um, I think it's I'm pretty sure it's discontinued because I don't see it on Buck's website, but I found it on eBay for uh, $18.95. It's called the Buck Nano 3-inch folder. That's the one I don't have. It's the uh, fourth one in the Bantam series from Buck. Um, now, when I first did my initial unboxing of these, I had mentioned something about the box saying having the uh, made USA made logo on it. Well, uh, further reading on the site, um, I found out that originally these Buck Bantam series were made, were, were actually imported. Um, and with further looking into these and stuff like that, uh, Buck is actually pushing out the uh, imported series and bringing in the in selling the USA made series. So uh, I'd like to show you all something that I saw in this box that I didn't notice in my initial unboxing. It says U.S. made of U.S. and import parts. Um, I'm guessing it's put together with imported and USA made parts. So uh, it's definitely somewhat made in the USA. <laughs> um, so this is a knife, fully closed right here. It's got the, as you can see, if, um, initially looking at it, you can see that uh, it has a decent ergonomics. It's bigger than my hand. It can be used as an impact weapon. Um, it does have jimping down here it has jimping up here too but uh, I wouldn't actually trust this jimping as the uh, back the backbone the, uh, the lock back for it um, comes all the way up to the top of the jimping not allowing any uh, not allowing there be any space so uh, as you can see it's kind of flush with it um, it does have ambidextrous uh, thumb studs. The pocket clip is not reversible. It's tip down carry only for right hand. Um, and it's pin construction so it cannot be undone. Which kind of sucks but whatever. You get like, some Q-tips or some pipe cleaners. Get them done in there. The opening on this is reasonable. Fairly easy. It's got an extremely strong lock up. I didn't know if you guys We'll go ahead and do that again. Now, uh, initially when I had, I got this, I had just stuck it away in the storage in my knife case. Um, not this one in particular, but the smallest of the three that I have um, actually started to get rust spots on it. And this one actually had one rust spot right there. Um, but I cleaned it up. And what kind of made me mad is I didn't have them but for a day. And they had already gotten rust spots on them. So, uh, if you're going to get these knives, just make sure you watch them. So, uh, that way they don't rust on you. The, right here on the blade, it says Buck USA. As you can see right here, it has a falsely sharpened swedge at the top. Um, it's flat, but anybody with a little bit of grinding skills could turn this into a nice blade on the top. Um, it, that's how nice nice of a swedge they put on it. Um, it fits very comfortably in your hand. Right here. Fits very comfortably. Um, right here, it's got good choil. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best choil, but it's got decent choil on it. The Like I said, the jimping isn't a the best so if you're going to be using this in a thrusting motion I would hold on tight but uh, for slicing and cutting um, it'd be perfect so uh, right here I will do specs in a little bit so uh, right here I've got a piece of paper you can see right here and I just like the these things are uh, shaving sharp right out of the box I don't have much hair on my arms, but go ahead and I'll show you all that. 
Look at that. And I wasn't even pushing that hard. So. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. He definitely shaved my arm. Um, it's definitely got an extremely nice edge on it. I'm extremely fascinated with the edge they can put on a knife. Um, and this is real thin paper. Trying not to cut myself here. Looking through the viewfinder. But, uh, the paper, I mean, the, the blade, has just got an amazing edge on it. So, uh, a little bit of the technical specs here. Oh, also, these knives were introduced in 2009. Uh, the blade length on this knife is 3 and 3 fourths inches. The blade material is 420 HC, 420 hide carbon stainless steel with a satin finish. The, uh, <laughs> the carry system is a stainless steel belt boot or pocket clip. The handle material is thermoplastic textured. Length closed is 5 and 1 eighths inch. It's got, it locks. One-handed opening, yes. The weight of this knife is 3.2 ounces, 91.1 grams. The retail on Buck's website for this knife is $28. Again, this is the Bantam BHW. The model number for this knife is 0286BK, BKS-B. Um... So there's your technical specs on this knife. Again, uh, I speak highly of this knife, but I really wish it was a little cheaper because uh, of the whole fact that it's got to be a... Uh... Why can't they just use all USA? Come on now. Like Mad Bad Voodoo says, try not to buy China made, try to buy US. But uh, sometimes, hey, China's just what's available. So I would appreciate y'all for... Uh, Stopping by to check out this knife review on the Bantam BHW, and uh, I hope to see some hope to see some of y'all's opinions on this knife, especially if you've owned some or own one. And uh, appreciate y'all for watching and supporting my channel. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Much Steven Business signing off. Later, guys.